Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Wednesday, August 9th. 9th? Yes, it is 7.30 a.m. and I'm already at my desk. I have a cup of coffee because I'm approaching the day a little bit differently today. I decided that I am going to... Typically what I try and do is get my butt to the gym and then get home and do everything else. And my motivation has been so lax lately that I've decided to reverse it a little bit because I have a work, I have blog stuff that I have to get done. And I've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So I decided that today I'm going to have a work day like more, you know, nine to five work people. And I got up, I made my coffee. I haven't even had a sip of it yet. And I, I, I ran out of coffee. I literally have enough for one cup of coffee, which really sucks. Um, so I might be running a coffee errand later. But I decided I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to crank out some content for a couple of hours and just get this stuff done. And then later in the afternoon is when I'm going to call it quits on the sitting at the computer and whatnot and actually go to the gym and work out and do all that stuff and see how that works for me. I vlogged a couple segments yesterday, but it was nothing interesting. Literally nothing. So yesterday what ended up happening was I had a doctor's appointment. Um, just for a general practitioner because I hadn't, I don't have a PCP. I haven't for ages. And I got tired of other doctors asking me for the information about my PCP. So I decided to go get one. <laughs> so it was just a, you know, basic physical. I went going to the one that my, uh, my whole family goes to. And they're great over there. I've really enjoyed it. But it was really long. Like, they, he was running so behind that I was in the waiting room until an hour after my appointment was actually supposed to be. Good thing I brought a book. So that ate up an afternoon, and then I went over to my parents' house to talk to my mom about adding some essential oils to my order because I'm trying to accumulate bigger orders of essential oils for the points rewards. Um, and so I just brought my computer over so she could look at stuff and whatnot. And of course, I get distracted by the cute baby that's over there, right? So I was there for a really long time, too. Um, and it just yesterday just got away from me. It really did, in every sense of the term. I got to the gym, got my step goal, which was good. And, yeah, so that's all about yesterday. Nothing exciting happened. It was a very blah, boring, uneventful day. So we're on to a new day, and we're going to get cranking here because I really have to get stuff done. And so today is going to be primarily a work day. So here we go. Here's breakfast. Breakfast is going way back to super simple basics today. This is just egg whites only for zero smart points. Um, chives. One smart point worth of Hormel bacon bits, zero smart points worth of fat-free cheddar cheese, and my Joseph's pita for one point. So this whole thing, guys, is only two points, which is amazing. And then I have cherries as a side for zero smart points. So this whole breakfast is only two points. And I've only had one cup of coffee because that's all the coffee I have in my house. So that's zero points for the coffee. It's a good day. It's 12.22. 1223 now. Still sitting at the computer, but I have gotten some stuff done. I have 1300 words on the blog post I'm working on. I took a whole bunch of photographs that I now have to go through and edit and compile and get ready to put into the blog post. And I have to show you what I've eaten. So I just ate this. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Just ate this. This was six points and it was a lot more than I wanted to spend. I thought I had an oat and honey granola bar, you know those bars that are coming two in a pack and I was only going to eat one for three points. And it turns out I didn't have one of these, so I had this and I just wanted to get something in my stomach because I was getting starting to get hangry and I didn't think this would cut it on its own, but I'm super excited about this. This is an acai bowl smoothie thing and it's the exact same as I made the other day. It's got half an ounce of hemp hearts, which is two smart points. I actually went out and bought strawberry protein powder so I could use it specifically in the berry smoothies. So that's one point. And I have um, a cup and a half of almond milk in here for one point. And then I have half a banana, six strawberries, like a quarter cup of blueberries, and half an acai puree packet in here. So, And since I'm team no count blended fruit, I know I say it every time, but I'm going to keep saying it because in case there's new viewers here. Um, I'm team no count blended fruit, so that's zero smart points for all the fruit. Um, it would probably be closer to eight or nine points, if I'm honest, if we counted the blended fruit, but I'm not, so it's only four points. So I've had a ten-point snack, but that snack is really going to be my lunch. So, And considering I had two points for breakfast, I'm totally okay with it. 
and I've also taken a shower. I'm letting my hair air dry a little bit before I go ahead and blast it with a hair dryer. Because I have to film today, too, but I'm getting all the blog stuff done before I do the YouTube stuff. It's a busy day. It's a busy day. Side note, though, can you guys see this? This balance board thing that I have on my back? I have been so comfortable all day because of that stupid thing. I will link it down below. I ordered it on Amazon for like 15 bucks or something like that. And I, I got the idea from the chiropractor. And I've been using it as a back support. And I am not uncomfortable at all. Which is huge for me. Because I've been sitting here since... I don't know, when was the last time I talked to you? 7.30? Or something like that? I've literally been at the computer. Except for when I was in the shower or in the kitchen making something. And I made some tea. That's about it. So I've been doing a lot of sitting, which makes me sad. <laughs> But I'm going to go to the gym later and work it all out. I guess this is what people with, like, 9 to 5s actually do, right? So I should be able to suck it up and just do it. But, yeah, this thing has been really helping me. I'm not uncomfortable at all, and we're really enjoying it. So link down below for that, and I'm going to continue to work, work, work. Guys, it's quarter to four. I've been in this chair all day. All day. And, well, I got ready. Clearly, I have makeup on and stuff, so I got up to do that stuff. And somehow, I miraculously have 5,000 steps. So I've been walking around enough getting ready and whatnot and gathering things for my video. This place is a mess now because I filmed. And apparently, I talked to the camera for 32 minutes. I tell you what, so I texted my husband, and I was like, I have been sitting at this computer since 8 a.m., and this was, I don't know, a couple hours ago. And he's like, wow, you're actually putting in a real work day like normal people do. And I was like, yes, I don't know how people do it. Because <laughs> to be quite honest with you, so with the whole, like, being a housewife thing, like, that's a full-time job in and of itself. I could be cleaning something almost all the time, and laundry, and groceries, and cooking, and whatever. And then I have this poor little dog who has been so neglected all day. She's literally just been, she's been so good about sleeping in her bed. I feel so bad. Um, but I've just, I've been at the computer working all day, and I was like, I don't know how to balance this. And I want to. Like, that's the kicker, is I really want to. I want this to take off. I want Diva and the Divine to be something and be a legitimate source of income and be my job. But how the heck do you do this job and the housewife job and the get yourself to the gym and get fit job all, all at the same time? And I know I've ranted about this before, but it's days like today where I get up and, like, I, you saw when I was at the computer, I have been working on stuff the whole time. And <laughs> the real killer is it's all for one subject. One. So if I wanted to do a couple other subjects, I'd be sitting here the rest of the day. And this is not getting done today. I know for a fact it's not getting done today because editing that half an hour of footage is going to take me at least an hour or two. <whistles> what a day. So that's, that's that. Let's see. What have I eaten today? I just had, not too long ago, a pita with some hummus and cheese on it because I just needed to eat something and it's not quite dinner time yet. So that was four points. I'm going to have my other real good chicken crust pizza. Real good's the brand name. I'm not saying it's real good. I mean it is, but it's called Real Good Pizza. A clever name, if you ask me. Um, that's seven points and a ton of protein and whatnot. And I think I have seven points left to play with after I eat dinner, based on everything I've eaten today, which is not so bad. So, the thing that I'm learning here, at least right now, is that if I keep myself freaking busy, I make a lot better choices. I also don't have any junk in the house, or I don't, I have a lot less junk in the house because I've been eating it. Um, stupid. But there's really nothing in the in the house today that I can go binge on, which is really really great. And the stuff the stuff that's there, like I could eat like five granola bars, but that granola bar wasn't all that exciting to me to begin with. There's nothing that I'm excited enough about to go and just eat it. I like to eat hummus. Hummus is one of my trigger foods, but I put some of it on the pita, and that was satisfying to me. I've also been downing tea, like iced tea, so it ends up being half water because all the ice melts anyway all day. I am so sufficiently hydrated, it's out of control. And that could be a reason that I'm not 
cravey. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I'm hungry and that's what, like I'm starting to get cravey a little bit now, but I think it's cause I just haven't eaten enough today. So I'm going to eat some carrots, but now I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my day. I don't know. And I hate to say it, but I don't know if I'm going to the gym today. Um, and quite frankly, Wednesdays are typically, typically, they used to be typically my other rest day, which is great. I don't want today to be a rest day. I still want to get my 10,000 steps in. I'm still going to do my 28 day challenge thing, which can all be done here. But I was like, okay, I'm done. I should go to the gym. I literally just finished this face of makeup and I really don't feel like taking it off. Just <laughs> is that a stupid reason? I mean, really, I was so proud of my eye look today, and I was like, and now I have to go take it off so I can go to the gym? Mm, no. So I think I'm going to take the dog for a walk. That sounds like a good idea. And then probably do some cleaning because I should do something housewifey today because I feel like I've been sitting on my butt all day. <sighs> Work life is hard, guys. And you all know that. I know you all know that, but I just have to, have to tell you what I'm feeling. Well, we're outside. Both of us are getting some steps in. It's very exciting. Are you ready? Ready to keep walking? She's a friend. Come on. Hello, my friends. As you can see, I am in the car. It is 7.08 p.m. and I decided that I was going to go to the grocery store because I had to, A, get coffee because I'm out of coffee. And um, there are a couple of things that I've been meaning to pick up and I've been hemming and hawing about going. I still need a couple steps. Um, I still need 1,500 steps and you're going to go flying on the floor. And so I decided that I might as well go grocery shopping tonight because not only was I, I, I'm getting like, I don't want to say anxious, but I'm kind of restless because I've been inside all morning except for, or all day, except for taking Gracie on a walk. And I don't want to go to the gym. I'm not in the mood for the gym, but I'm in the mood to get active and get going. And I'm starting to get sugar cravy. And because I'm getting sugar cravy, I'm trying really hard not to give in because A, there's nothing really worth it in my house except for the ice cream that I already have pre-tracked that I wanted to enjoy later in the evening. So I decided to get out of the house in order to help me avoid making any poor decisions. So I, that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving the house and I'm going grocery shopping to hopefully, hopefully, kick the, the sugar craving and just get my mind on to something else. So that's what's happening. Grocery shopping at night. I never do this. I never, ever go grocery shopping at night. I'm a huge proponent of going grocery shopping before like 4 p.m. when the rush comes, but I'm hoping that the crowds will be less. I have to go to Sam's Club and I have to go to Walmart, but the main reason I'm leaving is because coffee. How's about a little late night grocery haul, my friends? Guess what? Not a single trigger food made it into the cart or into this house. Rock on. So let me show you what I actually did buy. It's not a whole lot, but some interesting things are here. I got strawberries, I got blueberries. This is the whole reason I went out. I needed coffee because I can't do tomorrow without a cup of coffee. I got our favorite frozen vegetables from Sam's Club, the Northwest blend. It's so good. It is it is the freshest I've ever tasted frozen. Um, so that's from Sam's Club. These are from Sam's Club. The coffee's from Sam's Club. This is from Walmart. I bought this because I'm thinking about doing zoodles for a meal this weekend, and I don't think my husband necessarily likes zoodles, so I might make him some pasta to go with it. Um, I don't know if he'll want it, but for a buck, it's good to have on hand. I found this at... Sam's Club. There are 10 individual pouches of jerky in here and what it has in it is five real chicken jerky honey barbecue and five pork jerky backyard barbecue. The chicken ones are two points and the uh, pig one, I almost said turkey, the pig one and the pork is three points. So I thought that was a good find and it was less than five bucks too. So that's, that's awesome. That's a really good deal actually for jerky. I got some lunch meat because I wanted to make a sandwich. I got my husband some frozen meals. Super exciting stuff. 
I got some tomato, diced tomatoes and some tomato sauce because I'm, again, thinking about making zoodles this weekend. I got maraschino cherries for my husband because he drinks um, Old Fashioned and uses the grenadine. So these are my monitors. This is not food related, but I'm really excited about it nonetheless. I actually decided to pick up some Epsom salts for myself um, because I've heard they're super detoxifying and relaxing, just really good for the body. And I cleaned out my bathtub today and I'm thinking about taking a bath. That just sounds so good, especially after sitting at my desk all day. It sounds like the best idea ever. And don't worry, I'm well past my step goal. I'm, I think I'm near 12,000 right, right now. I haven't looked yet. These were on clearance. These are for my husband and his like pre-workout, pre-run snack. I don't know. I picked them up because they were on sale. These are the Special K Nourish Bites, chocolate pistachio, and I got him blueberry almond quinoa as well. Both were on sale. And those are seven points for a serving, so a little much for me, but he should like them. I got snack bags because we needed snack bags. And then I got tuna pouches because they were only a dollar. These, the urban garlic one is two smart points. And this one, unless this scanned wrong, I scanned this one in at zero smart points. Zero smart points. How awesome is that? Had I known that this was zero and I scanned it beforehand, I thought they were all going to be two. Um, I would have bought a couple more of these because that's an amazing thing to have on hand for zero points. Seriously. So that was exciting. What are you doing? Trouble? Gracie. What are you doing? You got your purse? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, oh, we're feisty. Oh, we're feisty. Oh, we're feisty. Ah, it's a puppy. Anyway, I got bananas. And the last thing I got, I got myself, this is the only like treat type thing that came in. Oh, they're going to spill out. They came into the house and I remember uh, someone talking about the sugar-free Werther's hard candies and it just, I wanted to pick up a bag of the caramel toffee ones, but then I wanted a bag of the caramel ones. Do you have to do that right now? Do you have to do that right now? Please? Uh, sorry guys. She squeaks so fast too, it's obnoxious. Anyway, so I picked these up, the sugar-free ones in the diabetic candy section. And they had an assorted bag. These are five candies for one smart point or one candy, which is why they're open, because I wanted to try the coffee one. Really good, by the way. Really good. Um, for zero. You can have one little thing to curb your sugar craving for zero smart points. So depending on how well these go over, uh, these might be a regular in my house. Seriously, I'm a little bit excited about these. Um, but I have to be careful because, A, you don't want to just, like, binge eat these for two reasons. One, we don't need to be binging. And two, artificial sweetener in candies tends to be the kind of artificial sweetener that gets you sick. Um, I have gotten sick by having a sugar-free um, chocolate-covered thing before. That candy got me so sick. It was bad. Um, so I'm very wary of the sugar-free candies. Have you ever gone on Amazon.com and read the reviews for the... Harboro, Haribo, the gummy bears that are sugar-free. If you want a good laugh, go read the reviews for those gummy bears. My husband and I spent like an hour on it one day, and we were just in hysterics. It was so bad, but I will never try sugar-free gummy bears because of it. Um, although there is a brand of Smart Smart Candy, I think it's called, that I'm interested in trying. But I will not try the Har Haribo ones because, whoa. So I'm going to be careful because... Sugar-free candy tends to get you sick if you eat too much. So it's a really good excuse to not eat a lot of it. Anyway, Gracie, chill out. Chill out. Can you let me talk to my friends, please? Nut job. Oh, oh. oh man. She's feisty. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to sign off for the day because I don't plan on doing anything else interesting except putting the groceries away, cutting strawberries, and taking a bath. So thank you guys for tuning in for today's vlog. I apologize that I didn't have one for you yesterday, but that's life, right? So I will see you tomorrow for Thursday. Have a great night.